Greetings hobbies, this is Arsans of Vool, and in this video we're going to have a look at how to make custom cutters using Box Cutter. So this was a question from a viewer and it seemed like a really good one because it combines a lot of things that we've discussed previously into one video. And they wanted to make a parallelogram that they could consistently use at different sizes and they had some set angles that they needed to keep consistently throughout the different sizes. So let's have a look at how you can do that and we'll cover this in a couple of different stages because they need to use this shape multiple times. So, let's have a look at this, and the first thing, Alt and W to start box cutter, and then I'm going to press D, and we're going to open up our Engon cutter here. Now this is what's going to allow us to do this to our specific angles, and you'll see that this has got this angle lock snapping, which we can either have on, which means that it's constantly on all the time, or we can click it so that it's still there, but it's only working when we hold down control. I as standard have this on, and it's automatically set as 15. Now you'll notice that this is a little bit weird, and that it doesn't show you what's on, like it doesn't have that coloured in. If you just click it, it's got it set as 15. So if I wanted to do a parallelogram, I could easily just say, let's say, click draw my line and then go somewhere here and you'll notice it's snapping to 15 degree increments. So if I wanted to do 30, I could do one, two, and that's at 30 degrees. But now we run into our problem because I can click there and then doing this last one doesn't really have anything that's gonna work. And this is the first mindset bit that we need to get sorted. Don't start on a corner. If we let's say start here and go along and this is gonna be the middle of our shape, I can then come down two points, so that's 30, click there, come across as long as I need this to be, let's say there, and then 30 again, go up, and you'll notice that it adds a snapping point that's gonna put us level. So I can then double click and start dragging in. And now we know that that is exactly 30 degrees on each of those edges. Now you might not want this to be 30 degrees, you might not want it to be 45, so you can, if you come in here, change this to a five degree snapping, and then obviously we can do exactly the same thing. So for example, I could come to let's say 90, and then go well, 85, 80, and however many we've got. So for example, this is a 50 degree angle, and then come across here, and then I can do exactly the same thing to somewhere like that, and then we've got our 50 degree angles for these edges. Now obviously that was sped up on the counting because that's gonna become a bit of a painful process doing this in five degree increments. But once you've got your shape that you're happy with, this becomes really easy. All you do is come to your box cutter help menu with D and you go to this extract mode, which will allow you to sample a cutter that you've got and that's going to make something that works every single time using the same shape. So for example, I can just do that double click and it's now saved that and each time I draw you'll notice I've got this with my 50 degree cuts so we can just do that every single time and you can change the size of it to make this uniform shape so for example if I want a small one I could just go there or there and so on you can also if you just do that and don't double click you can change the thickness of it but you should note if I just zoom in, that it will only go as proportionally thick as your original cutter. So if you want to change that, you're then gonna have to press Q, ever scroll, and then you can just select that face and make it larger or deeper, for example, there. Now, this is also the feature that's gonna allow you to change the shape of this, and I don't know if this is exactly what was wanted, but I want to make sure that this is covered fully, and that is that, say we want to keep these angles here to be the same, but we want to change, let's say, the length. We can't do that here, because it's keeping everything uniform in terms of size, or proportional, I should say, in terms of size. So if I do that over here, and then let's say double click to execute that, what I can do is if I use Q and ever scroll, and then click on that, I can go into vertex mode or edge mode. So we can just select some of these vertices, for example, oops, let's press W to get off a of box cutter, select those, and then I can G and, in this instance, Y, to lock to the Y axis so I can make this change there. Now, that's easy for that, but for these ones along the bottom, this gets a little bit trickier because, again, we want to keep this angle. But actually, Blender does this for us really easily. If I press G, G again to snap it, this is going to keep those angles, so we've got no problem there. But you'll notice we can't take them further. It starts messing up. So all we do is move up a little bit, press C to clamp it to that angle, and you'll see that this automatically highlights the direction these are going, and then you can go further to make, let's say, this deeper there. So that's how we can create custom cutters with set specific angles. Now, just as an addition to this quickly, say we wanted to do something more complex. For example, let's say we wanted another parallelogram on top of this. I can sample that. Let's say do something, let's say there. And then at this point, once we've got that, we can then just sample it again. So we press D, come here to sample, and then 
sample that and it will sample a more complex shape so we get something like that. So you can use this with a combination of cutters, you don't have to do it with just one single shape. So this custom cutter is really useful if you want to do something repeatedly a lot of times. So hopefully that solved that and giving you some possibilities to speed up your workflow. As always, Box Cutter is fantastic and there is a link in the description. That is an affiliate link, but it doesn't cost you any more to use it, but it means the little bit of money from what you're paying goes to help support the channel. Have a great day, guys.